Stan Jibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One, Good Vibrations at your service, to answer or to help, help hopefully answer a question posed by a viewer about feeding a large loop antenna. A large loop antenna, by definition, has a full wavelength circumference. It's usually square in shape, but may also be circular or even triangular in certain instances. But here's the feed point right there, and it presents 100 ohms pure resistance. Now, my viewer asks about feeding this with coaxial cable. Normally, coaxial cable is 50 ohm line. So you're going to have a 2W, um, <laughs> SWR of 2 to 1. Uh, and uh, you're also going to have a balanced antenna and an unbalanced line. And those are imperfections in the system, but they don't necessarily mean that you have to do anything about them. They're usually not too severe if your antenna is in the clear. Um, the standing wave ratio, something very interesting about that. If you have an SWR of 2 to 1 or less, then regardless of how long your feed line is, how much loss it has, uh, the SWR of 2 to 1 will not increase the loss in that line appreciably with respect to a perfect match. The loss up to a 2 to 1 SWR will always be less than 1 decibel and that is the smallest change in signal strength that a listener can detect if that listener is expecting the change. So <clears throat> anything less than a decibel in practical situations represents no loss at all. He is asking though if you were to double this loop over, that is shorten it so that it's two turns with a one uh, wavelength circumference, would that produce a 50 ohm impedance at the feed point? And if so, uh, would that one-to-one -one match with 50 ohm coaxial cable with the use of a one-to-one -one ballon at the feed point improve the state of affairs over what we see here. And my response to that is no, it probably would make it worse because although you would see um, less loss in your feed line in theory, that reduction in loss or improvement would amount to less than the smallest change a listener can detect if that listener is de expecting the change. However, the fact that you have made the loop smaller will compromise its performance perhaps more than 1 dB. So my recommendation with this situation is that this is a perfectly good situation. You shouldn't really need a ballon here and you shouldn't really have to worry. Well, you should not worry about a 2 w 2W1 SWR, all right? 2 to 1 standing wave ratio. But if you are, in fact, adamant about getting <clears throat> a perfect system out of this, <coughs> sorry about the little cough here, if you are adamant that your system attain perfection in theory, what you can do is you can run a quarter wavelength section of 75 ohm balanced line between a ballon and your antenna. You'll have to take the velocity factor of this line into account and 75 ohm balanced line is difficult to find but not impossible. <coughs> so once you have this ballon here and this quarter wave section here that 100 ohms at this feed point will be transformed into something very nearly 50 ohms.
because of the mathematics of quarter wave matching sections, which I have covered in other videos. 75 ohms is just about midway geometrically between 50 and 100. Arithmetically, it is exactly midway, but uh, this difference, 175, it will be down very, very close to 50, probably a 1.2 to 1 standing wave ratio or so. And from there, you can run your 50 ohm coax to your radio. That constitutes a pretty nearly perfect system. You'll have only about a 1.3 or 1.4 to 1 standing wave ratio here in this length of relatively low loss line. And then <clears throat> pretty nearly flat SWR all the way down here. So that would be my recommendation for the ideal solution. Now there are various other solutions and I won't get into them because it would make this video unnecessarily long. But if you want to optimize this system to your absolute demands, if you're a little bit picky -oon about these kinds of things, then this is the way to feed a large loop antenna with 50 ohm coax. Remember, you need to cut this line according to the velocity factor, so it'll be a little shorter than a physical quarter wavelength, but you'll get a pure resistance of nearly 50 ohms here for this ballon, which will then take care of the balanced, unbalanced problem. Stan Jibalisco, W1GV, will say 73 for now, and so long.